Tyrese has a few choice words about the imaging and sound of today's new music. Y'all see my swag? Be sure to like, mm -hmm. comment, and subscribe. Y'all see where I'm at? Mm. Y'all wanna see my shoes? Y'all see what I'm doing on my feet? Watch this. Glasses. I got on a hot mink jacket. It's about 130 degrees out here in LA. I see my hat. I see what's going on. Look at my sweats, babe. Look at my shoes, babe. You see what's happening? Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. in most cases to get 2,000 of y'all. But this is what the world has turned to. Gimmicks. Bullshit. These are my daughter's glasses. This is somebody else's hat. It's hot as a m I have no reason to be wearing this goddamn heavy ass jacket. And these shoes don't go with the fucking Adidas track sweats. Everything about what we've been become these days, even as grown men and women, everything is about the gimmick, going viral, the TikTok dance, right? Even if I took, after I took all this shit off, my IG numbers has went down. Maybe I need to keep it on so more people can tune in. I want us to make a decision to support real shit. No gimmicks, no antics, real talent. There's a difference between what's popular and what's real. If you're 19, 25 years old, 21 years old, you may not ever be able to even understand what the fuck I'm saying right now. I got a song that's in the top five. It's called, I Don't Think You Ever Love Me, featuring Lenny Kravitz. It's real song, real music, real lyrics, real shit that I actually went through. What if I asked you to support me? Does it take me to do a fucking TikTok dance <laughs> and do some clown shit for you to support what's real? Have we lost our way as grown men and women where we're not looking at it, we're not with it, we're not paying attention to it, we're not supporting it unless it's a gimmick? So if it's only winning when it's a gimmick, then what you think is gonna keep doing? They gonna keep releasing this goofy ass shit. Girl, I'ma put you in the bed, put my dick all in your ain't it. They gonna keep disrespecting. Now, it's not disrespectful to tell niggas why you wrote this song. Why you coming at her like that? That's not disrespectful if it's your truth. It's disrespectful to people that are triggered by hearing the truth. This has never been me versus my ex. This is my truth. She can go ahead and do her interviews and her podcast and tell her truth. I don't give a fuck how pretty she is with her baby face, with her, sorry, how pretty she is with her baby hairs. 
It doesn't mean what she's saying is the truth. I don't care if she can quote 75 scriptures <laughs> by heart. Doesn't mean that what she's saying is the truth. I don't care how often you repeat it. Doesn't mean it's true. I know what Trump did. Tell the lie over and over and over and over and over again. And at some point, not only do you believe your own lie and you believe your own narrative, but they're going to believe that it's true because you're repeating the same lie over and over and over again. It doesn't make it true when somebody repeat it. It doesn't make it true because they're sweet and they're soft spoken versus your approach to telling the truth being more aggressive and more alpha. I can't deliver my truth in a soft way. That's just not who the fuck I am. I can't put no grease on my lips and paint my hair turquoise and have my fingernails to be black to get y'all to listen to me. I can't put no wig and no dress on to get y'all to listen to me. That's just not who I am. That's a choice that I'm not making to go about telling my truth. What if I told you that if you called your radio station and said, why y'all not playing Tyree's song? What if I told you that if you're in radio and you're a program director, a music director, an on-air personality, that it's not just press and play on the song, it's the way you intro the song. What if I told you that the best DJs in the world don't know how to just play the hot shit, it's what they say. Y'all know what's about to happen? You, you know, I'm not going to try and be a DJ, but y'all know the biggest DJs in the world know how to talk that shit before they press play. What if I told you I was 150 radio spins away from being number one and I don't want to be number one for me. I want to be number one because just like you, grown, we frustrated with the state of the culture. This is what is number one right now. <laughs> bitch, put your mother head down on the floor, bitch. Look here, man. Do what you do. Go about your life the way you go about your life. I'm exhausted with this goofy ass shit that's going on. I, right? if it ain't, it, it, it. have we now became a walking, living, breathing gimmick shit show? <laughs> Should I put some eyelashes on for you? Should I put some lip gloss on? I don't think you ever love me is available on all streaming platforms. I don't want this song to be number one for me. I've already had number ones. We good. I don't want this song to be number one because I'm trying to get money. I got money. We good. I, I do well as a movie star. We good. I got a problem with the state of the culture. I got a problem with all the antics and all the gimmick and all of the bullshit that's happening in music that we have decided to continue. We're not supporting what's real. We're not supporting... We're supporting gimmicks. We fucking with gimmicks. We're trying to go viral. Whether you singing about love, you still are singing about a heartbreak, you singing about being lonely, you sing you singing about making a mistake and something you ashamed of. You singing about some real shit. I might sound like a dinosaur to y'all right now. I might sound like a nigga that's out here. Can we get this song to number one? 
Tyrese featuring Lenny Kravitz and Leandria Johnson, I Don't Think You Ever Loved Me. If I gotta put 25 years of favors, every fan, every supporter, every radio on-air personality I've ever showed up for, when your ratings was low, I showed up, your shit went up. All the interviews that we did that went viral because I came on your show and your shit went crazy. No one ever heard of you. No one was ever checking for you. No one ever clicked on your website or listened to your station until that interview, until that moment went viral. I'm calling in a favor. I'm putting it all on the line and I'm saying, you know what? I've showed up for you. Show up for me. You know when I headlined your show? And you had all them callers calling into your radio station trying to be caller number number five to get them tickets because Tyrese was on his way to your city. I took my star power and my energy and I got you hot in these streets. I'm calling in my favor. I'm saying to you, I don't want you to do it for me. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I can't afford whatever they paying, whatever they doing to get that done. I can't. I can't do that. I can't afford that. I can't do that. That that paper bag is a little different over there. That I, I can't. Have we lost our way? Can we get Steve Harvey? Can we get Dee Dee in the morning? Can we get Ricky Smiley? Can we get Doug Banks? Can we get the Breakfast Club? Can we get WBLS, V103? Can we get all the nationally syndicated radio shows to show up? When we get to number one this time, and it's number one for multiple weeks, Music is gonna change. We might only we might only change music for a year, maybe two years. But can we get a fucking break? Can we get away from the? T <laughs> hey, can we get away from the goofy shit for a quick minute? Some of y'all is like, oh man, this shit look. They, that that shit look alright on you, Reese. You you should switch your look up. These are my daughter's glasses. She's only four years old. I'm so sorry I will not be wearing glasses like this in my next music video. These are not for me. I'm so sorry I'm not doing this. <laughs> you know, these bitches don't have it. I'm so sorry my voice is deep. I'm grown. I'm mature. I'm vulnerable. I'm honest. My heart is still broken to this day. Why can't I be successful? Why can't I be successful from telling my truth? What, what? Why do you want to support a gimmick? You want, you want a gimmick? Give you a gimmick. Here you go. Yeah. Here you go. You ready? Here you go. This motherfucker got on goddamn Adidas sweatsuit with his goddamn, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Look at this shit. This shit. We support, we, since we support gimmicks, let's just support the gimmick. I don't think you ever love me. What do we gotta do to, what do we gotta do to get y'all to pay more attention to real music? Become a gimmick? Tyrese featuring Lenny Kravitz. Available on all streaming platforms worldwide. If you follow me on Instagram and you ain't heard my song, shame on you. I want you to feel bad. I want you to feel bad. I'm saying, man, we've been doing this for a long time, man. But where do I start? Sweet lady, lately, how you gonna act like that? Signs of love making. Uh, uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, the best man. Uh, uh, pulling me back. Uh, what do you like? Uh, uh, uh. Should I keep going? Shame. Shame. 
shame. Stay. Baby, promise me you stay. Stay. I got hits, mother. I've been doing this shit for real. And y'all been rocking with me this whole time. I'm not a gimmick. I ain't built my shit on gimmicks. It may be considered a gimmick to you when I'm online telling my truth, but I'm not this. <laughs> Trying to get y'all to pay attention. The song is entitled, I Don't Think You Ever Loved Me. Whatever city, state, and country you are in, I'm asking for you to go to your streaming platform, Apple Music, Tidal, whatever streaming platform you rock with. I'm asking you to do some shit that we used to do when we was in high school, <laughs> before we had social media. I'm not talking to the young kids. I'm not talking about to the 15 year olds who don't even understand the life before Snapchat. I'm talking about us grown folks that used to call the radio station and actually make a request for a song that you want them to hear over and over and over again. Y'all play enough of this goofy shit. Whoever's paying for it, they paying for it. But can we just be grown and call the actual radio station today, right now, and say, hey man, I really want to hear y'all start playing that Tyrese song. I don't think you ever loved me, man. I need y'all to, th that song, that song speaks my life, man. My ex-wife dogged me out. My ex-husband dogged me the fuck out. My ex-boyfriend, my baby daddy, ain't no way he ever loved me if he said that and did that. This song is not one way. I know it's a man singing it about a woman. I know some of y'all are triggered. This ain't about you as a woman. This ain't about you as a man. This is about somebody telling the truth. Don't, don't, don't up Mary J. Blige because she's singing about her ex-husband. That ain't got your, this, her marriage ain't got nothing to do with you. She talking that shit about how she feels. It's her truth and her music. I, I, I'm not different. I'm no different. It's my truth. Call the radio station. Ricky Smiley. Why don't y'all play Tyree's song, I Don't Think You Ever Loved Me? Man, this is the realest shit out here right now. Stream it over and over and over again. Play it day and night. Stream it, stream it. Put it up on your Facebook, on your group chat, on your text message. Let's go grassroots. Let's go, let's go back the way we used to do it. Because I don't want this shit to be number one for me. I want this to be number one because when this song becomes number one, it's going to have everybody in radio asking questions like, I guess nobody want to hear all this goofy shit we've been playing day and night no more. They want to hear this. Grown folks is tired of the gimmicks. <laughs> the song may not be happy. Motherfucker, I'm not happy. When I'm happy, I'm going to sing about something happy. When I'm in love, I'm going to sing about being in love. Y'all not finna control what I feel and you ain't finna control what I sing about and you not about con to control how I go about singing my shit. I know y'all used to women releasing songs. You ain't shit. Fuck your, pack your bags to the left, to the, you know, I don't need you. I can do bad, but I know y'all used to women singing about that shit, ripping the man to pieces. I got it. I got it. We got that. A hat and a t-shirt. Y'all telling me I can't have feelings about my heartbreak, about my unexpected divorce. I know we're at the height of feminism. I know we're at the height of women's marches and movement. I understand that equal pay, rights and for Listen, man, I'm not, in, I'm not involved in none of that. Every woman who ever speaks up and speaks out about the reality of what's going on in this world, me as a father who's got two daughters, my daughters will become the beneficiaries of Every new law that you get passed in the Congress, every abortion rights that you stand up for, everything 
that you get put in place. I got two daughters who will become the beneficiaries of all of those movements. Please don't confuse a movement on behalf of all of those things that you should be speaking up and about. Don't, don't confuse my shit. I want y'all to understand. I woke up after being madly in love with a woman for five years. I never cheated on her. I never. She never went in my phone and seen I'm texting and DMing with another woman. After I did a concert, went to my hotel room and fucked her and got some. I never got a chick on the side pregnant and secretly went to go get in the. She ain't never went through my phone and discovered, oh, he's he's a he's a down low bro. I ain't got none of that on me, man. I was in love. You know how hard it is for a man to fall in love on the level that that we we always contain ourselves. We'll give a woman just enough, but we'll stop ourselves from committing all the way. I went all the way. I'm telling y'all, I'm looking at Steve Harvey. Hear me out. I'm looking at Steve Harvey and how he's loving on his wife. And I can't tell the difference in what he's doing versus what I was doing. The outcome of loving on your wife and going all, I'm not talking about shoes, purses, and handbags. Y'all goofy. I'm talking about when you love and you love on the level that I was loving on, that other real men that loving on your wife and you going above and beyond. Man, listen, y'all see what Steve Harvey out here doing and how he's going above and beyond the love on his wife. I want y'all to tell me the difference of what I was doing and what he's doing. The outcome, the outcome, of any man who loves on his wife and goes that far should not be this. Y'all don't think they have arguments and disagreements? We all do. Y'all don't think people are not on the same page about how much they doing or how much they, how hard somebody is working, taking too many jobs and too many gigs, and then feeling like the wife ain't getting that quality time in that she deserves. Every man in the world who's working hard as a mother day and night we all deal with them exact topics nobody's supposed to leave you nobody's supposed to file for divorce and leave you high and dry and have you out here fucked up like this this is not supposed to be the outcome so I don't think you ever loved me this is the way I feel and if she feels differently Go write your books, go look into her podcast, go follow her on Instagram, go let's go buy into her narrative. Go ahead. She don't sing, but she's doing everything else that she do. She got y'all motherfuckers out here drinking the Kool-Aid, thinking and believing Tyrese must have been the problem. He must have been the monster. He seems like some alpha, arrogant, narcissistic, egomaniac, condescending, belittling. No, motherfucker, that's not me. I'm a, I'm a hood who know how to speak up and speak out about their shit. That's all. I don't think you ever loved me. I want you to stream it. I don't think you ever loved me. Tyrese new song. It's out there on all streaming platforms. The state of the culture is fucked up. If I hear one more song talking about pulling out your and the girl on the back of a bus and a truck. If I see one more song disrespecting the shit out of women on a degrading, real disrespectful level, and that shit is all over social media, number one song on the radio. If I see one more song, I quit. I'm, I'm gonna give up on the game. I, I'm not here to win what's popular. I'm not. I'm not here to win the popularity contest. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Y'all got it. Y'all know what to do. Stop supporting this shit. Gimmicks. Stop supporting, <laughs> stop supporting this shit right here.
Stop supporting this shit right here. Huh? It's time to support some real motherfucking community. You hear me? <laughs> I don't think you ever loved me. <laughs> if I go viral and you post this video, I just want you to post the whole video so nobody don't lose no perspective. Why this motherfucker got a mink on with his daughter's glasses and a big ass hat? What the fuck wrong with Tyrese? He done lost his goddamn mind again. He out here having another psych med meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I just want us to get back to the music, baby. I want us to get back to the music, okay? We have supported enough gimmicks and goofy shit. Please don't confuse talent with popularity. I want us to get back to the music, y'all. Can we get back to the music? Can we get back to a man's man? Out here singing about that shit, rather it's happiness, magic, or beauty, or trauma, or pains. Listen, man, Al Green ain't always sung about love. Donnie Hathaway ain't always sung about love. Stevie Wonder, he's been pretty consistent about love. I give Stevie that. I don't think you ever loved me. Thanks for tuning in to NIMAG TV.